Ed. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't get it on film coming in here, but what the hell is happening in here? We're setting up this whole area for this wire rock. It's a really cool effect. Just trying to make a small seating area of two or three people. Ed, are you ready? This whole area is done. All right, give it a bump real quick. <laughs> what? What happened? We need a rock. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, it's nice to see that somebody has multiple skill sets. That's right. I can I can not only wash the gravel, I can vacuum the dirt. <laughs> We're making really great progress and things are humming along. Making incredible progress. I see a lot of stuff being cleaned up. I love the stepping stones going in. That's all tying everything together. We're getting ready to dry set this rock. Basically what that means is we're putting everything in place before the liner and the fabric and all that stuff goes in place. And that's because this is a really particular rock. It's gotta go exactly the way we want it. Otherwise it's not gonna work. Once we get that liner in place, it's much more difficult to manipulate it. So what we wanna do is we're gonna set it, make sure all the elevations look good, then come back in, put our fabric in, put the liner in, another layer of fabric on top, drop the rock back in position, then we can start pulling this thing up, hooking up the plug. All in the effort to not go backwards with, with, the, exactly. with the process, right? So. Oh, and it's looking good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Eh? Over here we've got Nick and Jack finishing off the stepper pathway that's leading you back to the amazing Shedster. Jack, it looks like you guys are making great progress. I love kind of the way these steppers twist and turn in through here. So a big thing that I know that we've kind of tried to teach you, and Nick, I know you know this as well, is matching up those joints but so it doesn't look like it's a straight raceway, right? So you're kind of manipulating them back and forth to really get that twist and turning and that meandering nature of the walkways, correct? Yeah, and especially like when you do the longer pathways, it's a lot, it's a lot easier to get that that nice meandering so you can't tell like oh it's a straight path or it was man made yeah yeah and i love all the joints in between are relatively evenly spaced it just kind of goes back and forth in through here and then we'll fill in with ground cover and moss and that kind of stuff to really finish it off the guys and girls are making incredible progress from team aquascapes you see behind me like we just talked about ed and alan are working on that weeping wall and making really really good progress it's still very early in the morning jason's running back through here i haven't seen him stop moving did you even sleep since last night did you even stop yeah a little while a little bit. You, you got some beauty sleep? <laughs> we could tell. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a lot of that. Awesome. So again, it's a team effort, so we're going to keep rolling. And this is so, so awesome and really proud of the way the team's coming together and doing this final push so that we can get this thing up and running and not race to the 11th hour like we normally do and maybe give us a little bit of breathing room at the end of the day to really stand back and appreciate our work. But it's just turning out incredible. I didn't get it on film coming in here, but what the hell is happening in here? We're setting up this whole area for this wire rock. It's a really cool effect. Just trying to make a small seating area, two or three people, right adjacent to the house. What I love about this, the lower elevation, looking at it from inside the house, coming down at all this stuff, as well as we put in this monster boulder yesterday. From this angle, you're gonna see that those fires just kind of flickering up. We're gonna have that weeping wall over here. Big crashing waterfall over on that side. That entire pond overflowing down into that lower area. This is really gonna become a cool focal area right here smack in the front of the house. That's awesome. Actually, I just wanted a fire element over here because it just, you know, Fire and water, it's those things that just kind of go together, and it's a nice little gathering spot if you just have, maybe it's just you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, two friends hanging out, maybe a couple bros, but anyway, it's just, just a nice little quaint spot, and it's recessed, and the whole point of this being recessed is you'll be able to look out at the waterfalls, and then the next waterfall we're building here, this is just gonna be very subtle and spread out, so it's gonna have a lower sound level, which is gonna be awesome. That's awesome. You could definitely feel the elevation change
changes, stepping down through these big monster giant steppers and then back up and then the meandering pathway and stuff. But it's just those isolated rooms that we were talking about at the beginning of the video that you've incorporated all over this design, which is, I mean, it's awesome. Jason's over here kind of leveling off the fire boulder. Now this is a EFRC product, meaning it's an engineered stone. You can see we've got our gas line ran to it. Looks like it's running all the way back over to here to Matt Augustine. Hi, buddy. What up, dude? The rest of the progress is happening like we talked about earlier in the day. We're starting to drain everything so that we can rinse everything down, get it all nice and clean for that final reveal that you guys are looking for. But it's just turning out spectacular. You can see Ed now talking about how he and Alan are going to finish off this waterfalls in through here. It's all that final detail stuff. So this is really the last section in through here. The rest of the team are working on getting rocks out of here and kind of cleaning up the space so that we can get it ready and get it picture perfect for you guys at the very end. sacrifice your artistic vision because that is important. Yep. Ed, are you ready? This whole area is done. All right, give it a bump real quick. Ah! <laughs> what? What happened? We need a rock. What? What is that? Guys, what happened? What is that? We were in a hurry. about water velocity. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was not how you intended it to go. So that idea of the oh, two to three good. producer in there didn't really yeah. swell up the way we you thought. We wanted to do a spillway, but we <laughs> ran out of room. Or we decided to do that. Because we chewed up every bit of real estate we had here, that's why. That's not quite the look you were going for, right? I don't know, it's kind of like hot springs. You wanted a weepy wall, and that's like a good cry after a chick flick. <laughs> Fire it. Too bad. Too bad. All right. Did you guys fix the problem? Fix yeah, the issue? Did. What'd you end up having to do up here? Well, we ended up having to put a ball valve on it. But the best part is, is Ed and I did talk about it. And then just like every project, you get rolling, you get working, and we never put a ball valve on it. Hmm. Guess what? 
the ball that long ago. Let me see over here. Ed, are you standing right above the right scene above of the crime? Ready to backfill it right now. We just wanted to check it to make sure it's not leaking. Okay. So we had an adjustable pump. So we had a four to 8,000. So we figured at the very least, we could just put it all the way down at the lowest. It was still way too much water. So the only way to do it was to come in with a ball valve. Oversize the pump, turn it down a little bit. If we would have designed this differently, we could have put the pump in a different location, but we didn't. Again, this is literally going to be here for 24 hours. We're tearing the whole thing apart. So it's not like our normal installation. Yep. So with this application, quick, easy fix, put in that ball valve, crank it back down to the desired flow rate. We're good to go. So like Ed said, ball <laughs> valve inserted there. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt to adjust. So, all right, we're going to bury it because this is temporary. Let's go. Well, it's nice to see that somebody has multiple skill sets. That's right. I can, I can not only wash the gravel, I can vacuum the dirt. <laughs> Chris and Alan, the last thing you guys saw was Greg vacuuming up everything, getting it all primped and ready for the photo shoot and the big final reveal. Alan, what are your thoughts at this point? I couldn't ask for it to turn out any better than it did. I mean, the fact that you guys have built this studio that we can try anything we want and that I was able to implement a design that I've always wanted to do. It was just incredible. And it was a lot of fun to come and build with you guys. And we were able to bring Jason, that's been with us for over 10 years, and Jody and Nick were here to experience it also. So it was just a great family thing for us to do. I can't wait for everybody to see this. Which is exactly what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to wait and see the final reveal of everything. That's going to be aired on Greg Woodstock, the Pond Guys channel. Until then, you're gonna have to have the sitting on the edges of your seats, waiting for that, but Alan, I gotta say, man, you guys absolutely nailed it. It was truly a pleasure, as always, getting to work with you, man, and thank you so much, bro. Yeah, thank you. Until next time, tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Team Aquascape content is always coming out. Stay tuned.